Coming up on today's show, we're going to talk about ETF strategies for beating inflation, plus the very first exchange-traded fund that invests and tackles mRNA technology. That much more. Dave Massa with Direction Investments joins us. Stick around. Welcome to ETF Guy TV. I'm Ron DeLegge. It's great to see you again. We keep you on top of all the latest ETF trends, as well as keeping you ahead of the many obstacles like inflation, as well as choppy markets and everything in between. We've got a lot to get into on today's program. Joining us is Dave Massa. He's head of product and a managing director at Direction Investments. Dave, it's great to have you back. Hey, thanks for having me back. So let's start by discussing inflation, which was called by my favorite economist, Milt Friedman. He said, inflation is taxation without legislation. What a great rhyme. And we've got the Direction Auspice Broad Commodity Strategy ETF, that's ticker symbol COM, COM, which has been a major beneficiary of higher inflation, along with higher commodity prices. So why should investors be thinking about adding commodities to their portfolios. A few things at play here. Any way you put it, uh, we know inflation is likely here to stay. We know Chairman Powell of the FOMC uh, is retiring the word transitory when it comes to inflation. Uh, and there's a broad-based acknowledgement that uh, rising prices uh, were not as temporary as maybe some has hoped. And one of the areas that investors can use to tackle inflation is commodities. The challenge with owning commodities is that it can be difficult, right? Because the way I think about it is a, a bar of gold is extremely different than an ear of corn. It's not like even making the difference between a growth stock versus a value stock. So the auspice commodity strategy um, in, our, in our ETF COM, COM, takes that into consideration. What, it's, what it uses is a long flat methodology, meaning if a commodity is in favor, if it has positive price performance, if it's trending, we're going to actually own that commodity in the portfolio. If it's not, we're actually going to have a flat position, so we'll be in cash. So it's really adaptive, and it makes it a bit easier, in my opinion, for investors to own commodities as either opposed to trying to make a bet of precious metals versus agriculture or taking that broader approach and getting everything when things might not be in favor at different times. As you know, certain investors with growth-oriented stocks or ETFs, but some of them are sitting on paper losses. And it's quite a shock to some of them because the markets have been pretty friendly here in 2021, at least in the U.S. And so let's talk about tax loss harvesting. You've got the Direction Moonshot Innovators ETF, ticker symbol Moon, which could be an excellent replacement for some of these aggressive high-growth stocks or uh, ETFs that follow that same strategy, which haven't really lived up to their expectations or haven't performed this year. So why is tax loss harvesting a smart strategy? Yeah, uh, look, uh, I'm not in a position to provide tax advice. There's many other great uh, folks who, who, ha who probably have more insights than I do. But one of the things that um, uh, investors need to recognize is that ETFs can be a great tool for tax loss harvesting because throughout the year, and especially as we get toward year end and maybe thinking about higher taxes coming in the future, investors might want to think about rotating areas, potentially taking losses and transitioning to other areas, which either may be more attractive or sitting at a, different, a more favorable price point. So more recently, we have seen uh, investor interest in our Moonshots ETF, ticker Moon, for the reason you know it is that a lot of investors have plowed into high growth areas earlier in the year when there were many of them were making their tops uh, and they're kind of they are sitting on these these short-term paper losses but as we know thematic opportunities uh, particularly disruptive growth and innovation is likely here to stay it's just what price are you paying for those future earnings which may come five ten years down the future so for investors who've been on the sidelines or maybe sitting on those paper losses a, a fund like moon may be a good opportunity to get access to small to mid-cap disruptive growth companies. Yeah, 100%. And it's also got lower expenses than some of these active strategies using a similar approach, but also greater diversification. So in individuals sitting with uh, you know, high growth stocks you know, may, may, like you say, take a look at Moon as a possible alternative. 
Now, another recently launched fund from Direction is ticker symbol FNGG. Now, one of the things I like about this particular ETF is that it eliminates that credit risk that other products with a similar strategy have. So tell us a little bit more about FNGG. Yeah, so FNGG is an ETF that's primarily focused on our well-known FANG stocks, but adds a few more rounds. There's 20 stocks um, that give you exposure um, to many of the high growth areas that we've seen, these mega cap, highly liquid companies um, you know, that have done quite well over the past few years. This ETF, it's a 200% bull exposure fund really built for the trading community to take advantage of amplified exposure there. We've seen some nice trading volume since we launched this particular fund, you know, as traders look for opportunities to take advantage of the volatility that we've seen in the market, you know, whether it's coming from the potential for rising rates, uh, the variant with the coronavirus, uh, and this ETF is really, to your point, focused on that area. And you don't have any of the credit risks that's coming from ETNs that may be offering similar exposure. One final thing, Dave, before you take off, uh, another new ETF from Direction, MSGR, which focuses on mRNA technology, which has really come to the forefront since the onset of COVID-19 and all the subsequent strains associated with this virus. So tell us a little bit more about the fund and how it invests. We're really excited about the launch of MSGR. It's, it's the world's first ETF focused solely on companies that are deriving a, a large portion of their revenue from mRNA technologies. What we know is mRNA was not a household name, of course, until the COVID-19 pandemic. And the COVID-19 pandemic has changed our lives, uh, of course, and that's an understatement. But one of the lasting uh, approaches of this, setting aside, of course, um, uh, human loss and things of that nature and the impact to, to, to our daily lives, is that mRNA as a technology has proved to be one highly effective, and in fact, uh, the, the of course the vaccines manufactured by Pfizer, BioNTech, and the Moderna have shown really really high effectiveness. And with booster shots, even against subsequent variants and strains, uh, because this because of the technology, but it has applications much wider than just COVID nineteen. Uh, there's money now being uh, poured into therapeutics for different cancers, rare diseases, respiratory uh, diseases, even things like HIV or, uh, and Lyme disease. All of it, because mRNA is actually a technology, can be used to help combat, um, you know, in many ways, debilitating diseases and life-threatening areas. So this, to me, is really exciting to give investors exposure uh, to these companies in a very narrow, concentrated way. You're going to find, you know, of course, Moderna and BioNTech are in here, but there's many, many small and micro cap companies that uh, have the potential uh, with some breakthrough drugs to become household names. Again, that ticker symbol MSGR, put it on your radar. Dave, we're going to have to leave it there. Time always flies when you join us. And uh, thanks for dropping by and taking the time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Be sure to visit directioninvestments.com to learn more. And hit the comment section below. Let us know how you've been enjoying ETF Guide TV, some of our other fine programs like this one. We also have our monthly show, First Look ETF with NYSC, along with ETF Battles. So, again, don't miss any of those programs. Thanks again to all for watching. And I'm Ronda Leggy with ETF Guide TV. We'll see you next time. Music